38 dead, 60 hospitalized. The price of consuming illicit liquor. Another huge tragedy strikes Tamil Nadu. Stalin government under fire. You have come over here, you are giving 10 lakh rupees, but who is taking responsibility? Sir, who is taking responsibility? Everybody has. 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 Grave incidents of failure of government where the chief minister has to come and publicly meet each of those victims. Chief minister is not turning up, sending his son. Sending his son, flood up and send the son. K BJP blames Stalin government. Tamil Nadu Hooch Horror, top focus on 6 pm Prime. Good evening. You're watching 6 p.m. Prime here on India Today. I'm Akshita Nandagopal. This evening, we'll be getting you a ground report from Kalakuruchi in Tamil Nadu, where you've seen a horrifying tragedy playing out, where locals consumed liquor and soon after were rushed to hospital. 38 dead and unfortunately counting because over 60 people right now are hospitalized with extremely serious symptoms. This liquor that they consumed was laced with poisonous methanol. We're going to be raising questions of what led to this kind of an incident. Is the state administration to blame? Let's begin with the headlines. Bihar Deputy Chief Minister alleges Tejasvi Yadav's role in neat paper leak case claims Tejasvi's PA facilitated booking a room for accused mastermind Sikandar Yadav arrested student confesses. Amid the neat heap national eligibility test scrapped CBI to probe UGC net compromise, sources say online forums discussion on exam paper led to cancellation by government. Education Ministry assures action. Double whammy for Karnataka residents after petrol and diesel Bengaluru likely to see hiking water tariff. BJP stages big cycle protest against hikes. Thirty-eight people dead in huge tragedy in Tamil Nadu's Kalakuruchi. CM Stalin orders CBCID probe suspends top officials, even as AIDMK and BJP lash out to the government. Inside scope on Modi 3.0 budget plan. Sources say government mulls lowering income tax for 15 to 17 lakh rupees salary slab. And Prime Minister Modi meets U.S. delegation. U.S. sends clear message to China as Pelosi, along with several other delegates, meet with Prime Minister Modi in Delhi. Thirty-eight people have died, over 60 hospitalized after consuming contaminated liquor. This happened in Tamil Nadu's Kallakurchi. It's the second time in two years that we've seen this kind of an incident. In 2023, you had over 20 people dying in Vilupuram of Tamil Nadu again because of illicit liquor. Now, in Tamil Nadu, this has been a rampant problem. And in 2024, we still clearly haven't found a solution to this. It's led also to questions being asked of the Stalin government. Chief Minister Stalin, in a detailed post, also said very clearly, admitted that this kind of an incident shouldn't have happened. The AIA DMK and the BJP are pinning the blame on the DMK government. Then the Stalin was deputed, uh, deputed really by his father to visit the site, was seen meeting with the victims' families and offering his condolences as well. Let's round up for you all the latest in our report first. A story that unfolds repeatedly in Tamil Nadu. Another hooch tragedy, another massacre. 
over 30 people died and 60 hospitalized after consuming liquor that was laced with methanol. This is a place called as Karunaburam in Kallakuruchi village and unfortunately I'm just standing in a corner of a street there is one dead body at this place right next to the street three, three or four houses there is one more and if my VJ Daniel could show there is one more dead body over there behind that place also there is another dead body all because of hooch illicit liquor that was sold in the state in this particular district two days ago nearly 120 people consumed that liquor because of which nearly 30 people have died so far and unfortunately the number is only increasing the tragedy unfolded on june the 18th when daily wage laborers in karunapuram allegedly consumed spurious liquor sold in packets and sachets by nightfall, many of them began experiencing severe symptoms like diarrhea, vomiting and irritation in the eyes. The state government, under massive fire, suspended top officials for allowing illicit liquor to be sold so openly to locals. All facilities are there. Ambulance is there. Life support ambulance is there. Additional PM Vegama Pandradika forensic scientist who under the inquiry on the CBC Adika, Martha Pedrika, other one the police side in Angul Tagal. Udanidi Stalin also visited Kalakurchi to meet the bereaved family members. No, 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 no. For this tragedy, sir, you have come over here, you were given 10 lakh rupees, but who's taking responsibility for it? Everybody has. In the backdrop of this, the Tamil Nadu government has launched a crackdown on illicit liquor once again. A one-man commission has been constituted to investigate this incident. So far, four individuals have been arrested in connection with the current hooch tragedy. The police have been directed to trace the source of the methanol and destroy all illicit liquor and methanol in the region. It happens without the knowledge of the government, local police and other things. Even the local people, they don't know that somebody is involved in all these things. The, series, the chief minister had taken a serious view on this. He had suspended officials. He had held a meeting this morning immediately after the session was over, assembly session was over. We are not silent. We are not like Gujarat government. The ruling DMK in Tamil Nadu has promised a crackdown on the accused, but the opposition AIA, DMK and BJP are now going all guns blazing against the Stalin government. இவ்வளவு அதிகமான பேர் வெள்ளச்சாராயம் குடித்து இறந்த செய்தி மிகுந்த வேதனையும் வருத்தத்தையும் அளிக்கின்றது நடவடிக்கை எடுக்க சிபிசிஐடி ஒப்படைத்தார் இதுவரை என் ஆனது என்றே தெரியவில்லை யாரார் மீது இவர்கள் நடவடிக்கை எடுத்திருக்கின்றார்கள் இந்த விடியா திமுக அரசு செங்கல்பட்டு மாவட்டம் விழுப்புரம் மாவட்டத்தில் வெள்ளச்சாராயம் அறிந்து இறந்தவர்கள் அதற்கு காரணமானவர்கள் we are leaving it to the chief minister's conscience whether he is fit enough to sit in that chair. Even now I was told the chief minister is not coming. His son is coming. What has his son got to do with it? Here also he wants to promote dynastic politics. Here also he wants to promote nepotism. This is a grave crime, grave incidence of failure of government where the chief minister has to come and publicly meet each of those victims. Chief minister is not turning up. The DMK government now finds itself under intense scrutiny as the public demands accountability for yet another hooch tragedy. With Pramod Madhav in Kalakurchi, Tamil Nadu, Bureau Report, India Today.
And let's bring in Pramod Madhav on this broadcast. He is joining us live from Kalakurchi in Tamil Nadu. Pramod, heartbreaking images that we've been seeing there in Kalakurchi. So many families now left without their loved ones because of this one incident of illicit liquor that was being spread reportedly out there in full public view. Packets of this illegal li liquor which had traces of methanol in it given to so many locals. It absolutely is, Akshita. It only kind of like uh, exposes the kind of uh, uh, certain things that the state government of Tamil Nadu must immediately take care of. In fact, as we speak, the number of dead, the death uh, has gone up to 38 and still nearly 100 people are undergoing treatment inside this particular hospital, which is in uh, Kalakurji called the Mamandur Police Army uh, host Government Hospital as well. So that way, the, the situation is extremely volatile in this particular area. The Udinidhi Stalin was here, Anna Malay was here, even Sashikala came to this place. They want to go meet the family who are inside, we are not allowed to go inside and they are all expressing their condolences but the bigger problem here that has to be uh, like uh, mentioned is that in the state of Tamil Nadu, unlike any other state, the liquor is not sold by a private entity, it is sold by the Tamil Nadu government under the banner called as Taskmark, only for the sole reason to completely curb the sale of illicit liquor, spurious liquor, and still this is happening. We can't just simply, like, you know, the, uh, the, the officials can simply say that this happened one, one kind of incident. It's not like that because the number of people who had, had uh, like, not taken this particular liquor is a large number. They had gone to a funeral. That is where they've been given this. Mothers, children, a lot of people are completely lost. We could see them crying as their bodies are being taken over. The biggest tragic part is that that particular Karnapuram area, every street there is at least two or three dead bodies that has been placed on the road, uh, Akshita. Imagine that. It's heartbreaking to even think of what the families have lost. Uh, and you're right, Pramod, in highlighting, you know, the government repeatedly has said that we'll crack down on illicit liquor. And we've seen incident after incident of this happen in Tamil Nadu, and yet no sizable action that's been taken that will put an end to this kind of a practice. How has the government, uh, uh, Pramod, reacted, responded? What action have they taken so far? Because M.K. Stalin did say that he was very hurt by what's happened, and he tru truly believed uh, that something like this shouldn't have happened in the first place. But now the focus will be on what action is taken, not just in Kalakurchi, but across Tamil Nadu to stop this kind of illicit liquor from being sold. Make an example of this case. I can simply say something. Just by looking at the visual, the chief minister feeling, is feeling distressed and he said it should not have happened. Had he come to this place, it would have been a completely disastrous situation because we couldn't yeah. be there. Imagine in like one or two like uh, locations, there are people, there are like uh, uh, like dead bodies on the ground. And then what happened is that like we are not sure exactly, like more and more people are coming over here. We like uh, there, The transparency is of not that kind, like what happened earlier. And the biggest thing is that over there, there have been 21 fires that have been set already 21 fires in a location akshita for the bodies to be burnt together that is a kind of tragedy in that area and what happened is that like when we put forward this question to the the uh, sports minister within stalin we wanted to ask him who is going to take responsibility and he said everyone which means the government which means the police which means the people as well so at least that way he had agreed that everybody is at fault but the biggest thing is that it is the responsibility of the government because this is an illegal activity. The government should have curbed it. The government failed over there. And because of that, 38 people are dead and 100 more are being treated right now, Akshita. You know, uh, there will be a chorus. Uh, which is already kicked off for Chief Minister M.K. Stalin to visit Kalakurchi, to speak to the victims' families himself, to understand their pain, to understand what they're going through and ensure adequate action is taken so that this doesn't happen with anyone else in Tamil Nadu. So let's see if that actually happens, if Chief Minister Stalin will visit Kalakurchi and hear the voices of those people there who've suffered so much pain uh, in the last 24 hours. Thanks very much, Pramod, for joining us. Pramod, reporting there from Kalakurchi. Kurchi getting us those updates as we speak. 60 people hospitalized and unfortunately what authorities tell us is that many of them are in a very critical condition. So tragically enough, uh, we could see the debt toll go up from 38. That's how dangerous this particular incident was actually in Tamil Nadu. We will track the latest on this cutting across to breaking news coming in.
All right, let's get to a big update coming in in the Sandalwood murder case. Actor Darshan and three others have been sent to police custody. No respite for any of the accused. Darshan has been sent to two-day police custody. On the other hand, the accused number one in this case is Pavitra Gowda, his partner. She's been sent to 14 days of judicial custody, which means she will now be shifted to Parapana Agrahara, to the central prison. Uh, as far as Darshan goes, he will be in police custody for another two days. The cops re requested for four days custody. The court at this point is granted two days of custody to continue their questioning. Uh, four of the accused, in fact, have been sent to police custody. The others at this point are in judicial custody along with Pavitra Gauda, who is the accused number one in this case. The accused number two is Darshan and he is in police custody. Sagai Raj is joining us live from Bengaluru with more details on this. Sagai, no respite for Darshan or Pavitra Gauda. Take us to what happened in court. Did we see any arguments? Did Darshan or Pavitra get a chance to put forward their case? Uh, if you notice, uh, the public prosecutor, Tatana Kumar, argued saying that they require the power of four days of police custody of all okay, this. Okay, Sagar, my accused. apologies for interrupting, but we're going to have to cut across to live images coming in right now of Prime Minister Modi currently in Srinagar. A historic, symbolic visit this, and this is the welcome. You can see the images are on your screens right now of the Prime Minister at a mega event. He's kicking things off. His two-day visit to Kashmir is beginning with him uh, reaching out to youngsters in the valley, which is an important message as well in the valley, considering the Prime Minister Modi has been speaking about youngsters in Kashmir getting sizable opportunities in the valley. And lovely images coming in of the grand welcome for the Prime Minister. And he's seen there going ahead and showering flowers on all of the women decked up in all their finery there to greet him. And he's seen thanking them for the welcome. The Prime Minister expected to speak in just a while from now when he's going to be speaking on the theme of empowering youth of the valley. Remember tomorrow morning at 6.30, the Prime Minister will be celebrating International Yoga Day in Srinagar. This is his first visit to Kashmir after taking oath uh, as for a third term as the Prime Minister. So an important one because there will be questions about what really his plan is or his vision is for Kashmir over the next five years. But those images are on your screens of the welcome uh, that the Prime Minister was accorded in Srinagar. The young women there singing and welcoming him as he showered flower petals back on them. Uh, and remember that with this visit also there will be a lot of focus on the messaging that the Prime Minister puts forth. Even during the election campaign in an interview to India Today when asked about what he believes so, about his biggest accomplishments he spoke about Kashmir. He spoke about the voter turn out. So keeping that in mind, what you're seeing there is the Prime Minister also meeting with several young entrepreneurs in the valley, speaking to them about the initiatives that they've kicked off. These are a few who've been handpicked to meet and interact with Prime Minister Modi. So there they are, speaking to him, telling him about their ideas uh, for, in fact, their uh, vision of their own company or their brand that they've come up with. Uh, after this, Prime Minister Modi is going to be speaking at an event that is largely for, in fact, the youngsters of the valley. So expect a message about Naya Kashmir, his vision for Kashmir, his vision for Kashmiri youth. It's also very importantly coming at a time when we've been seeing a string of terror attacks that have happened largely in Jammu. So the Prime Minister will want to counter that narrative and send out a message of outreach, uh, a message of peace, a message also of opportunity for youth in the valley. I want to bring in Mir Farid, who's joining us live from Srinagar with more details. Mir, good evening. We're seeing these images of the Prime Minister interacting with several entrepreneurs. He's going to be at a youth outreach program today. Give us more details of what the Prime Minister's schedule looks like over the next two days. Well, yes, as far as the Prime Minister is concerned, as you rightly said, he's landed at Srinagar Airport and uh, has been given a traditional Kashmiri welcome where uh, girls uh, who showered petals and in fact uh, from the airport he'll fly straight to, to uh, the governor's house from where uh, in, in a cavalcade he'll move to the SKICC, which is the main venue as far as the uh, Prime Minister's, all, all the functions in fact are at the SKICC. 
be it uh, the inaugurations that he has to do. We've been told that projects of around 1,500 crore, which are mainly agriculture boost related, will uh, be in fact uh, inaugurated. Uh, foundation stone will be laid. And uh, if you talk of uh, uh, tomorrow, the most important function, the Yoga Day function, uh, is uh, to be held. So multiple programs as far as the Prime Minister is concerned, but the theme seems to be connect with the youth because as far as entrepreneurs are concerned, they're all uh, youth and then they have stalls of uh, basically uh, students from the agriculture university as you could be seeing I'll ask Tariq the security levels are such that we've been told to just move to one side uh, because uh, the Prime Minister uh, because the protocol is that he could even come by road he can take a chopper so such is the security levels that even we are being told to just move on one side so that obviously tells you the kind of priority security is being given since it's Kashmir so foolproof security measures as far as this prime minister's uh, functions are concerned the area has been sealed and even beyond that area there is a lot of security presence uh, across Srinagar back to you and uh, you look at the schedule right now I'm sure the security right now is heightened across Srinagar uh, because of the prime minister's visit tomorrow as you pointed out to us Mir, at 6 30 in the morning the prime minister will be performing yoga Brahman along with a big crowd in Srinagar but you look at the event that he's a part of right now where he's interacting with young men young women essentially it's a youth outreach program and one that's so so very essential to the Nayak Kashmir vision that the prime minister has well, absolutely. Even uh, as far as the assembly of uh, the Yoga Day is concerned, you will find 90% uh, of uh, the attendees are youth, uh, young entrepreneurs, sportsmen, athletes uh, in the age group of, uh, say, 18, 20, 24. So basically, uh, it is uh, uh, a connect with the youth that the Prime Minister wants to form an outreach. And uh, in fact, as far as the entrepreneurs are concerned, uh, the uh, students from the Agriculture University, all of them, I mean, they're basically youth. So that seems to be the intent. But uh, yes, uh, there are projects, uh, as we've been saying, uh, huge proje projects, and especially as far as agriculture is concerned, 1,500 crore rupee projects that will be inaugurated. There are some projects whose uh, foundation stone will be laid. So all these things uh, are on the table. But yes, yoga uh, will be uh, taking the limelight because it's first of its kind uh, function in Kashmir. And Kashmir, as you know, uh, not many people do yoga. Or they do not know about the concept. So that is also something very important that the Prime Minister will bring the message of yoga because personally, he does like yoga, yoga and wants the youth to do yoga because uh, it has its health benefits it has its uh, uh, they, they'll get feel good factors so all these things uh, are coming together but uh, yes security also is something that is of paramount importance considering the spurt in terror related incidents and the administration and the police and the law enforcers they want an absolutely incident free function and that's why stringent security measures are in place unprecedented in many ways back to you uh, what we're hearing is tomorrow morning when the prime minister performs yoga in Srinagar which by itself will be historic those images of Prime Minister performing yoga there will be 7,000 people or so gathered along with him at that event so it's going to be a huge huge event like nothing Kashmir has witnessed before like nothing Srinagar has seen before and like Mir was telling us you know you look at this youth outreach program you look at the kind of projects that the Prime Minister is unveiling in just about uh, 30 minutes from now it's all focused on development development youth agriculture because the prime minister sees great potential in kashmir as far as the agriculture sector goes so with that you get a sense of really what his vision for kashmir really looks like how he believes he'll bring opportunities jobs and all of that to kashmir is by reaching out to youngsters showing them the right path by creating these opportunities in the form of employment ensuring development in kashmir because that's the best answer to terror as well the timing of this visit also mir is at a time and we've seen multiple terror incidents, whether it's in Jammu or the recent one in Baramullah, where terrorists were killed in an encounter with our forces. There has been a spike in terror-related cases that's been a serious cause of concern for the government.
जो अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योग दिवस का मुख्य समारोह है वो तो है वेल यस द गवर्नमेंट इज डेफिनेटली कंसर्न बिकॉज व्हाट वी विटनेसिंग इज स्पर्ट इन टेरर रिलेटेड इंसिडेंट्स इन एन एरिया व्हिच वाज वेरी पीसफुल till not very long time ago jammu was very peaceful and uh, it's not only about a specific area but multiple areas have been hit simultaneously so that is a huge problem for the government because you have big events like uh, this particular function yoga function and then you have the amarnath yatra as well which is a huge security challenge so all these things are simultaneously happening the uh, security agencies were in a huddle not so long ago and they have devised a program a, a strategy to counter uh these uh, these the these, these, these spurt interrelated incidents were in jammu you were seeing uh, a renewed approach as far as the security agencies are concerned multi agency yeah. effort uh search and combing efforts as far as jammu is concerned to ensure that uh, things are brought under control and as far as kashmir is concerned you have the amarnath yatra so even before the prime minister was here there was there was search and combing efforts there was an encounter in baramulla where two okay. pakistani militants were killed so all these things are happening but yes so as far as this program is concerned of the, the prime minister happening of course i mean very very rigid security measures also putting being put in place in shrinagar those images of the prime minister there being accorded a warm welcome in shrinagar and now he is meeting with several youngsters of the valley as well seeing the kind of uh, initiatives that they've started on their own so the prime minister interacting with all of them we'll get your highlights of the prime minister's visit over the next two days in the valley i'm wrapping up this edition of 6 pm prime